Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of our submarine fit build. We are back. Uh, I know if we took a one week break there, the video should resume as normal, but we are back with the sub and today is the day we talked about redoing the escape pod. So uh, the original time when I made this, I wasn't super happy with how it looked. So we're gonna give that a, uh, a go this time and uh, you'll see it ends up looking a lot better. And in the end, we will hop in the sub. I'll test it out, we'll crash the sub and then we will hop in the escape pod and kind of pop up to the top. But yeah, guys, um, we are back. So um, the videos will resume on their normal schedule and uh, just thank you again for all the support lately. So um, if you do like the build, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm gonna try to get this submarine on the workshop in the next week or so. So keep your eyes out for that. I will also make an announcement for when I do so. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll get right into the building for now and then I will uh, hop right back in and we'll talk a little bit more about what we're doing, but um, yeah.
Okay, so I will jump back in here and kind of talk about why I made these changes. Um, the original escape pod, it was kind of ugly. It, I mean, it wasn't hideous, but um, the I don't like that the lines on the top just matched the hull, and when it was gone, it basically would sink the entire sub because there wasn't any separate uh, layers. So this escape pod, you'll notice it is a lot smaller, but that's because there's the sealable doors on Stormworks and. Um, if you're not super familiar with the game, you can kind of play a lot of shenanigans with those. It, it The frame itself will kind of seal the space off. It'll kind of act like an invisible wall. So um, you'll notice on this escape pa uh, pod, there's also only one door on the bottom as compared to the other one. This makes it a lot easier to enter and exit, but because there's a hatch on the top, I can technically close that and reseal it, only needing one wall. Um, the main upside of this is it's not going to really sink this sub. It's going to add obviously some water when you use it because the door's got to open for a few seconds but hopefully it's not going to just uh, leave a hole in it like the old one and then that is going to make salvaging the sub itself significantly harder and um, you will notice obviously there's a lot less space in here i'm you know working on it right now and and this will get all uh kind of paint blocked up and detailed up later on i told you i'll show you off the sub um and the escape pod later on in the video that's actually a much more uh recent build uh, a lot more close to completed and so you'll get a little sneak peek of that and while we're on the topic of that i'll real quick just say that i'm hoping to get this on the workshop in a week or two so um i'll let you guys know about that but just keep your eyes out for that this sh is pretty much done at this point i've just got uh, a few videos to edit and then more detailing testing to do but anyways before i get on carried on with that um going back to the whole one door thing um, there's not enough space in the escape pod, so you and your friends are going to get to draw straws, and that's okay. It's kind of funny. Um, but the nice thing is this will open and then close, and then um, even if the sub is damaged uh, somewhere else, as long as the inner hull is okay, um, it'll let a little bit of water in, and the bilge pumps will empty it out, and hopefully the sub will be able to kind of lift back to the surface and, and get functioning again. But anyways, I will cut right back into the uh, speed build or uh, back into the uh, time lapse version. So um, I will talk to you when we hop back into the sub and test it out a little bit more than we are in this clip right now.
All right, guys, so we have it painted up for the most part and um, mostly everything is labeled and it's painted up. The inside is done, it's on the rails, we checked everything. So it should be more or less good to go at this point. And um, you can kind of disregard this little section right here. This is before this, um, I actually go back and kind of redo this with a lot more paint blocks. I end up thinking it actually looks great. So if you agree, let me know. Um, if not, we can definitely redo it. But we will uh, spawn in real quick and I will just kind of show you around. This is, like I said, a lot more completed. We got a sonar in here. We got all of the buttons. Everything is laid out correctly. Um, you can see we're cruising at negative uh, 10 meters under the water. And right here, that is the escape pod entrance. I went with a little orange and, uh, orange and uh, yellow, kind of like the rest of the ship. So, um, We'll just make a little uh, mistake here and put negative thousand in and kind of just crash this thing down into the surface and see how it holds up and then we'll hop in the escape pod, really. Not too bad. Yeah, I imagine in real life you would not be so fortunate if you uh, you crashed your the, the glass front of your submarine into the ground like that, but um, we did great, so <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep that pump on. We're going to start emptying the uh, the submarine, and um, that's just for my own kind of purpose. I'm curious to see if I can get it to resurface. But, uh, yeah, we'll hop in here. We'll close the hatch, and we'll turn the key. You'll see that door will open. The flare launches, and then we're off. And it's more or less the same shape. The outside of the, uh, the painting's quite goofy. Obviously, you're not really supposed to see that. Um, not on a good day, anyways. But uh, yeah, that's just about it. And that will just about also wrap up the video. So um, again, thank you if you're all the way, or if you've stayed this long, thank you. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will keep making these videos for you guys. And uh, like I said earlier, I will definitely get this on the workshop pretty soon, as soon as I possibly can. But yeah, guys, thank you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.